Oh, how's it? Back again. Well, I'm gonna make a, a, a drink for you guys today called the Fruity Mooty. And that's based on the daiquiri. The daiquiri basically originated in the town of daiquiri in Cuba and allegedly was made by a guy called Jennings Cox. And he basically squeezed some lime juice, put some sugar together with rum and made the daiquiri that we all know today. Brilliant drink. We just twisted it up slightly. We made a big block of ice. So what you'll need at home is a cooler box, little cooler. You need a deep freeze, that's it. And some tap water. So what that will do is, Obviously, we got some directional freezing. We got top-down freezing, and that creates a nice clear block of ice for you. So let's get that out. The idea with ice at home is you got to let it sweat a little bit, okay? And that means getting it nice and um, sort of clear. So you'll see when you take it out the freezer, it's still nice and frosty. Then you let that sweat for a bit, and that will make it easier for you to chop. If you have the tools, little ice pick that's generally the tool we like to use if not just a sharp paring knife will also work make sure it's got a nice sturdy blade and what you want to do is just sort of chip down the middle okay then you can put this bad boy back in the freezer or choose the best looking one i can go back i want to choose this one okay so again you just keep chopping off 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 okay when you end up with like a smaller and smaller block and I mean you get the picture right unevenly chopped you can see it looks like that iceberg you can go into your glass like that leave that aside that's ready to go okay next thing we want to do we want to get our lime cut through the middle you just squeeze by hand get all that juice into your into a little vessel on the side the cordial mix has got sugar syrup um, which is basically sugar and water little bit of smoke and this comes from smoke drops which you can buy in any shop really and then we've got a bit of acid in there which uh, it, you can also buy that in a shop it's called citric acid and that's the mix we'll include for you in the box and we're gonna make a pineapple cordial added a, a touch of water just to make it a little bit thinner it's up to you you can keep it nice and thick if you want to and then what you want to do is grab a tea strainer like this and you just want to strain off your cordial you'll end up with something like this a beautiful candy flavored smoked pineapple cordial. And this is what we're gonna use. 50 mils of your floating Dutchman rum. We're gonna do about 20, 25 mils. And the lime is gonna balance out all that sweetness. Okay, so that's gonna give us a bit of acidity. And you can tell, I mean, this drink is gonna be lovely, refreshing, beautiful for by the poolside, at home, by yourself. Don't worry, you don't need friends for this one. Do ice. With our shaker, you always wanna put as much ice as possible, so case we try and fill it nice to the top then you want to take your lid you put that lid on top make sure it's nice and secure put the little lid on and then we shake it you can see your shaker is nice and chilled on the outside and that's sort of when you know and you can hear the ice is breaking up maybe drain that water off whatever's left in there and then I mean if you really want to get fancy we can even do something like a cool smoke glass. So what we're using here is just the oak stay from our oak barrel. And you're gonna need either a chef torch or a lighter with a torch action. Okay, now the secret here to get that smoke into your glass is your glass has to have some moisture because the smoke sits on the moisture. So in this case, we're just gonna burn the wood a little bit. Get that nice and hot. Don't burn your fingers. And once you get a bit of smoke going on there, you can just pop the glass on. You can pop your ice back in simple like that and then we can strain this cocktail over your ice nice color as you can see there is a little bit of bits and pieces in there if you don't like that use your tea strainer what we used earlier to strain the syrup with and strain that off then the next ingredient we're going to need here is obviously a bit of sage for the aromatics it's important to have aromatics on a drink because that's what's going to lead your palate to what you're going to taste in this case we're going to use a bit of sage one of the most underrated herbs out there. Slap your glass around a little bit, be a bit messy, why not? And then what you wanna do is just take that sage, pop it in next to your ice block, and there we go. Fruity Mooty.